Hello guys, this is Kudusol from Kudusol.com. I do short reviews and share information about shoes with people. Also, please visit my Instagram page for daily updates of fine shoes. Hello guys, so today I'll do a quick review on Church's Tasmania Chucker Boots. Church's is a very popular and well-known brand to everyone. Church's was founded by Thomas Church in 1873 in Northampton, UK. Just like many other shoemakers in Northampton, Churches was actively producing and developing boots during the both world wars. However, in 1999, Churches was bought by the Prada Group with the acquisition price around $170 million. Many people say that the quality of the shoes have plummeted after the acquisition and many miss the old Church's models. For 20 years, Church's have been advertising very aggressively trying to achieve a luxurious image. And personally, I think the quality of the shoes are comparable with other British shoemakers. Let's see if what they say are correct with my Church's Tasmania chucker boots. I purchased these chucker boots back in when I was a university student maybe four or five years ago. Uh, I bought these boots through eBay. Uh, the seller said that he only tried them on once and they didn't fit him so I bought them. The photos were okay so I ordered the shoes and they're great when I opened them. The leather used on these boots is called Nevada leather. Nevada leather is very smooth and sturdy. It is vacuum tanned or economical mineral tanned. Also it's a full grain leather which means it's the best quality leather that you can find in the market. It really shows in the shoes. The shoes are very impressive. The, the, the leather is smooth and also it's very very sturdy. Since the Nevada leather is very smooth. It's very easy to polish them and give them a mirror shine. The soles used on these boots are Dynet soles. These are Goodyear welted. Actually, they're Goodyear stone welted, as you can see. And I don't really need to explain why Dynet soles are much better compared to other rubber soles. Also, living in Korea, it's very easy to wear Dynet soles compared to leather soles because during the rainy season or winter because the tiled floor gets really slippery when it's wet. Also these boots have two eyelid secure system or lacing system. Personally I wasn't sure about the two eyelid lacing system because I thought that the shoes were gonna dangle on my feet however it wasn't the case with these boots. They're very secure and it, I didn't have any problem that the shoes were coming off my feet. The size of the boots are UK 11G. I usually wear UK 11 or US 12 for sneakers like Nike and Adidas and UK 10.5 for other brand dress shoes. Now I'm pretty sure I can wear these in UK 10.5G, however the shoes were in UK 11, therefore I bought them. But I do not have any problem like the shoes are dangling on my feet. Now a G means that it's G width. It's a bit wider than regular shoe width, but it's not too wide that it's uncomfortable. Overall, in my opinion, I would say the church's Tasmania Chaka boots have a stunning shape and amazing quality, considering what other people have said about church's shoes quality after they're bought by Prada. I would definitely recommend these to anyone who would want to wear them. Now, I cannot say for all the church's shoes, I do not know if every shoes are great. Also, I was too young when Churches was bought by Prada, 
so I'm unable to compare the quality of the shoes with the previous shoes before the acquisition. My opinion is based on the shoes that I have right now. These are great. I don't have any quality issues and they look great too. If I have a chance, I would want to try other churches' shoes and boots to compare the quality with these that I have right now. These churches, Chukka Tasmania model seems to be discontinued currently. I can't see this model on their official church's website. Although uh, you'll be able to find some shoes that are second-handed or a very few number of shops carry it. I'll show you a quick on feet video of these boots. And thank you for watching my video.